One of the sad results of all the political trouble with South Africa is that cricket lovers have been robbed of seeing some of the great South African players in more test matches. People like Graham Pollock, Barry Richards, Mike Proctor and Eddie Barlow. Now Eddie, a rather Billy Bunter sort of chap really, he looked like with his bespectacled face, his rotund figure. But there the fun stopped. He was a tremendous performer. He was always competing. And he really was a great all-rounder. First of all, an opening batsman, rather a lucky one sometimes, but made a lot of runs, a fine slip fielder, and an outswing bowler who kept on getting vital wickets when they were rarely wanted. He was at his best uh, for the rest of the world in 1970. And he made 200s in the series. And then at Headingley, he had an incredible bowling performance at one time in the first innings, taking four wickets in five balls, including the hat-trick. Eddie Barlow realising there that there's little and no help in this pitch has made one or two slight changes in this field. So you see just the two slips there now. Graham Pollock, Gary Sobers. And he's gone. And unlucky, I would think, that this is a typical Barlow picker-up of wickets. Ball really going harmlessly down the leg side. Going for, going for the glance, and getting a slight touch and hardly deviating it at all. And Murray moving across. And that's a good delivery. It's a wicket and Cavalry waited for umpire Rhodes' decision at the far end. That was a more universal appeal to him. Very lively one. He certainly couldn't tell from here whether he's hit it or not. The umpire Rhodes taking his time and then. But that's it. Caught behind. So once again, Barlow's picked up another wicket. Fletcher caught Murray, bowled Barlow for 89. Oh, what a good delivery that was. Splendid ball, that. And uh, look at Eddie Barlow's face. Worth paying admission money just to see this enthusiastic all-rounder in action. And he's still not going to be off the mark. So there's no doubt about that one. See the off stump <clears throat> well back there. So that's Eddie Barlow's fifth wicket. Magnificent bowling performance from him. And he's got him. Great performance. Everyone around congratulating Eddie Barlow on this hat trick. Coming not bowled by Eddie Barlow at the last ball of one over. Then Chris Old, bowled by Barlow, off stump, and then Don Wilson, inside edge, on a pad and bouncing away to short forward square to Mike Nest. He's done him again, four in five deliveries. Ellingworth, inside edge. Caught by Murray or Barlow. The innings is over. 222 all out England. Illingworth, the last man out for 58. And what astonishing figures turned in by Eddie Barlow. He bowled 22.5 overs, six maidens, and took seven for 64. And look at the beaming smile on Barlow's face. Well, he deserves every bit of success that ever comes his way because there's no more enthusiastic cricketer in the world than this. South African all-rounder. Well, he certainly did have something to smile about. And what's more, he kept it all by taking five for 78 in the second innings. And also in that rest of the world side was another great South African cricketer, Mike Proctor.